which is the sort of thing that's going to come up in the assignments, and it finds that their net return from hiring tools is decreasing by 10% per annum. If their net gain on a certain tool is yearly £400, find the possible total of all future profits from this tool, assuming the tools last forever. So we're after an infinite series to find the sum. So to sum as far as the inf infinite series is concerned, it's given by... Right, 1 minus R. So all we need is R and A, and we've got it. Well, we know A. A is the first term. £400. The question is, and this is what I need to look at this for, is to find R. It's a percentage decrease. So what we need to think to ourselves is, if the take... the £400 in this case, or the, the initial start, as 100%. So if we, yeah, we want to find 90% of it. So if it's decreasing by 10%, we subtract 10% from 100%, we get 90%. So therefore, 10% decrease leaves 90%. How do I find 90% of £400? You could take find 10%, but what's another way? How do I find 90%? Times by 9, times by 0.9. Yeah, times by 90 over 100, which is 90%, or 400 times 0.9. So in other words, what's the common ratio? 0.9. That's the common ratio R. So what happens if we have a percentage decrease? That means that R is less than 1 because we're finding a fraction. If it's decreasing by 10%, we take the 10% off the 100% to use 90%. How do I find 90% of something? I multiply it by 90 over 100 or 0.9. So if it's decreasing by 20%, what would the common ratio be? 0.8. If it's an increase, say increases, if their firm was making a profit and it was gradually going up, which seems unlikely as a higher term, but let's say it's increasing by 10%, if we take our 100% as the start point, so what happens... If we increase by 10%, right, Tom, good, yes, 10%, then we add 10% to get 110%. And how do I find 110% of something I find 110 divided by 100, or 1.1. So in that case, the common ratio would be 1.1. So if I've got a percentage increase, and this is a very common example of a geometric progression, you can imagine in many firms, you've got things like this happening. You've got to take into account that the machinery you've got is depreciating. It's going down by 10% per annum. They're, they're, um, or profits are increasing by a certain amount per year. So if you imagine your... I mean, you can imagine e economically they're doing that in this country. You know, if your GDP is decreasing or increasing by an amount, 1% per year, say, how much will it be in 100 years' time or 20 years' time? It's a common ratio, so it's a geometric progression. So geometric progressions are very common when calculating profits or losses. Okay. I won't finish this question because once we've got A and R, it's trivial. You just divide A by 1 minus R and you've got the sum. Okay. The main point I wanted to make here was the idea of what you do for percentage increases and decreases. If it's a decrease, you subtract it leaving 0.9 if it's decreased by 
or leaving 1.1 if it increases by 10%, and so on for other percentages. So with that in mind, um, what would I do about this question? £100 is invested at compound interest of 8% per annum. So that means it's you add 8% the first year, and then you add another 8% on top of that, and so on. In other words, it's a geometric regression. Determine A, the value after 10 years. So what would I do? I'm after the 10th term, the value after 10 years. I'm after the 10th term. And what's the expression for the 10th term? R to the n minus 1. So I need A. That's £100. But what's R? One point zero eight. Thanks, Tommy. Yeah, it's the one hundred percent plus another eight percent is one hundred and eight percent divided times by one point zero eight, which is one hundred and eight divided by a hundred. So that's how I find my common ratio. So now to get the tenth term, so therefore after ten years, what will he have? It will be a hundred times 1.08 to the power 9. Would you like to work out that for me? So if I invested £100 for 10 years, what would I have at the end of 10 years? So he's near enough doubled his money in 10 years. Look at this exercise now, exercise 63. Uh, and on the exercise list, you note that questions three and six are the ones that I want you to look at for the purposes of, the, of this assignment. So what I'd like to do is just give you five or ten minutes, as we've done before, just have a look at one or two of these. You could try focusing on questions three and six, and then, pardon? Oh yeah, it should say 63. You can change that on the exercise list. Um, so focus on questions three and six. And then we'll take a break, and after break, we'll get on with some assignment work.